paste my game face. My universe of word video game culture has, has taken a, an interesting turn of late because um, I've been recommended a book by a few people. And also I know the book's being made into a film very soon, so I decided to read it before it got ruined for me in the film. Um, and that's Ready Player One. And, and it's really good. It's like really, really good in a very kind of popcorn-y, easy to read kind of way. Um, and it's, it's, it's cyberpunk. It's cyberpunk in all of the traditional senses of cyberpunk, but it's cyberpunk that spawned from an idea of a, a, a present, a, 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 like current present, like extrapolated further. Because the beauty of the cyberpunk genre is that for the largest portion of it, like, your neuromancers and blade runners it's it's something that's that's come from like the like the late 70s like the the early mid 80s it's a dystopian future that what if like this cold war keeps running its course and we end up with like corporate overlords like taking um uh, capitalism to whatever extreme it might find or or the, the the nuclear holocaust that we all fear like might happen in some way shape or form and that everybody's left like trying to crawl through the ashes of like a neon lit um, world full of full of robots and and uh, depravity and and vice and and all of the things that just lead to a fundamentally only the apocalypse rich sound bad about that by the way sorry was that only the apocalypse sounds bad <laughs> about that bit that's a... yeah well yeah yeah no I guess I guess but um but but like but it's 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 such a rich kind of seam of of an interesting setting but it has to be something that's from i mean it's it's so much an uh, a setting born of the time that it was that it was conjured and and the really interesting for me about ready player one is that it's using the tropes of that setting and come up coming up with a different reason to have them and also video games um so the premise is that the inventor of the virtual world within which everybody is like spending most of their time like it's virtual reality headset haptic gloves everybody is just doing that all of the time because that is the more interesting world where everybody can easily socialize like where uh, kids are even being educated in schools within that world because transport's become difficult because of an energy crisis so you have yeah because they're using it all on fucking servers right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much um no like the the idea is that um like oil runs out fuel becomes difficult people can't move around so if they can't move around this is a way for them to connect and interact besides that and the the con construction of the world is is very much the uh, like i guess i guess what so much cyberpunk is from like the the idea of like detroit when it was at its very worst like kind of everywhere sorry yesterday <laughs> you probably <laughs> I mean, and and twenty years ago, and everywhere in between. Ever since the like car manufacturing uh, industry like died out there, I don't think it's been a good scene. Um, but in amongst that, yeah, like that kind of grotty universe where everybody's having a rubbish time, but most people can barely afford to eat. Like you have people that are completely buried in this virtual world, but the guy that's created this virtual world um, has has died um he didn't have um any any heirs so he decided to create a competition out of all of the the vast fortune that he'd accrued and hid in somewhere in his game a series of easter eggs and the person that finds all of them gets all of his money so he's from the 80s and is obsessed with uh, 80s pop culture so everybody is forced to become obsessed with 80s pop culture <laughs> to try and find to try and follow these series of multi MacGuffins to like hopefully gain his vast fortune and and save the world or something um so thusly all of the tropes of cyberpunk can be injected into something that is born of an understanding of now and the interesting influences that are there are a collection of like yeah old 80s like um movie and video game references it's like it's arcade games all over the shop um mixed with like a giant element of dungeons and dragons um because <laughs> because the guy that made this universe was a massive nerd and therefore played D, &D. but also it's it's drawn massively on Warcraft as well. 
and like the universe of like socializing in in that world and like going on raids etc and it just it has this kind of vocabulary that like is instantly recognizable to anybody that's deep enough in the gaming world and i think that i actually think that it will have this interesting plus which is that if anybody is like nerdily aligned but they're not like kind of completely embroiled in video games having things described in the language of it in a way that's part of a narrative will make that language interesting and strange i don't know it's always it's always part of world creation like that when you when you're jumping into whatever novel or game and it's got a new world for you that you end up with new vocabulary there that like builds adds to the immersion adds to the the feeling of authenticity and the fact that in this particular case the the language that they that the authors decided to draw on is is the one that already exists and is one of just complete nerdy nerdy insanity like i think yeah it's it's just quite good it's just quite good um I, it's it's like it's like a real easy read. It's not like it's um, kind of literature is very finest, but it's a plot that I think a lot of people are really drawn by plot in novels, not by characters, not by the quality of writing, but a plot that like drives you forward. And it feels like it has that in the same way that something pretty mediocre like like the Da Vinci Code does, but. <laughs> in the, in like a wrapper of of cyberpunk and video games and and actually a character that is kind of quite appealing in their in their intelligence and their their kind of pathos in the fact that they're having a shitty time but also they're super super clever like it just it it all feeds into the kind of classic hero's journey like part of like what what makes so many stories just easily digestible and enjoyable so if you are looking for a bit of escapism and you want to put down the controller for a moment or two you can still have video games and you can pick up but a book for instead. those for those people that can't be bothered to read they're making a film of it yeah <laughs> that uh steven spielberg is directing and, and God, there was exactly a trailer the right for there's a there's a trailer for it that's just come out recently at comic-con and yeah it looks nuts i have not watched there's the just trailer. like so like oh. so the reason I started reading it is because it had already been recommended to me and then I and then I found out that the film was being made and I was like, Oh shit, I better fucking read it before the film happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the trailer so far doesn't re really, doesn't give away the sing slightest bit of plot. Person goes into virtual world, loads of pop culture references or a bunch of pop culture references, and that's it. Just action and references. In a, in a trailer there's and some of them pretty cool i like i like hesitate to kind of say one of the best moments that's happened in the book so far because and i'm not going to because it, it feels like it it kind of sums up the kind of clash between different elements of nerdiness so beautifully but suffice to say through um weird elements of puzzle solving there there's kind of construed this situation of like a combination of arcade games and like ridiculous kind of dungeon and dragons ideas that that cements itself in in what is described in the book as something that looks like it could be the front of like an old school metal album cover like hmm. it, just p play with where there's that might be some of that in the trailer but yeah, it's good. It's like it's just it's got some really interesting imagery and like a real kind of feel good kind of bullshittery to it that that I absolutely adore. And I've been tearing through it. Like I yeah, I don't I don't tend to read books very quickly, but I've yeah really really got through Ready Player One so far. And the really nice thing, and I think maybe this is a is a better way to sum it up than like spoiling a large part of it. A really nice thing is every time somebody puts on these virtual reality headsets in, uh, in this universe to like enter into um, the Oasis, which is what the, um, what, what the kind of MMO-ish universe within it is called. Um, just as it powers up, because the, the inventor of it was such a old school 80s nerd that loved his arcade games, the thing that it says as that headset goes on is Ready Player One. And like, I don't know, that, that just, that just, makes me feel really good about the whole thing I'd like I heard that I was like yeah fuck yeah I'll, I'll have some of this <laughs> so yeah I think it's going to be interesting to see I mean more so with the film I'm not sure exactly how 
how they approach it in the book, I'm assuming well, but in terms of how the references are handled, because there's always in a similar way, just I guess generally with video game movies that the people that make the films don't consume the content it's about so they don't really understand the references that they're putting into it i think they they might this time um i i mean spielberg is exactly the right director for this like it is so much of the atmosphere that is kind of woven throughout all of his kind of more popular and obvious films is what is here which is such a weird thing for me to say because i don't tend to like spielberg's most popular and obvious films but I really like the book um, and I guess yeah like if it's there's there's very little subtlety involved in it but there's a lot of like excellent use of yeah just super nerdy references and I think that uh, just it's it's just 80s of shit like I yeah it, he's the right man he's the right man and I think and I think he'll know how to like tie all of those things in in the right way Taste my game fix. 